And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the fifth and final part of the show, we are going to talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. I wanted to talk about some things they had to say regarding their quarterback situation. So let's get right into that. So I wanted to talk about what um, uh, Raiders general manager Tom Telesco had to say about the position specifically. So the Raiders... They're kind of going into the season with Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. They're going to compete for that starting job. So this is what he had to say. That's the plan is to have both those guys really compete through the offseason program, but more so in training camp, and we'll see how it plays out. I thought Aiden did an excellent job last year in a really difficult situation where the head coach changed, the coordinator changed, and he played really good football down the stretch. I've had a chance to be around him a little bit more in the building, and you kind of see... The quarterback intangibles that are there, which is nice to have, that you have, that you have to have as franchise quarterback. And then with Garner, you know Gar- Garner played well last year with the Colts. I mean, he was in the Pro Bowl, so obviously he had a pretty good year. He's always performed at a high level when he's given the opportunity. So to have these guys, to have those guys here competing for the job, we'll see how it goes. Now, for me personally, I mean, I would lean towards Gardner Minshew being the starter. Um. But, again, that's my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, Aiden O'Connell... I mean, Aiden O'Connell did what he was supposed to do. You know, I mean, he managed the game. I mean, especially... Well, especially you go back and you look at his stats from the Kansas City game on Christmas. I mean, he really... He didn't complete a pass after the first quarter. So, and... With the Raiders last season, 2,200 yards passing, 12 touchdowns, 7 interceptions... Actually, I wanted to go back to to his stats from the Chiefs game. So yeah, he went so he went nine of twenty one for sixty two yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. All he was, but and all that's all he was asked to do: complete nine passes, and that's it. Just hand the ball off because Zamir White had a big game, had one hundred forty five yards rushing, and the reason why I, I remember that number is because that was against me in my fantasy playoffs. So still, still stings. But yeah, I mean, you know, he passed for 244 against the Broncos, 299 against the Colts, and he had two touchdowns in both of those games. I told you the Kansas City, Kansas City stats against the Chargers had a good game. I mean, a lot of people had a good game against the Chargers. They won 63 to 21, 248 yards passing, four touchdowns, no interceptions. And then against the Vikings, uh, he was 21 to 32, 171 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick. And the Raiders lost that game 3 nothing. Yeah, that was a weird two-game stretch because they got shut out 3 nothing at home, and then they put they put up 63 points against the Chargers. So, but yeah, um, his QBR was 40.5 last year. But yeah, I mean, those were his stats. Um, but you know what? Listen, won a couple of ga- won a few games for the Raiders. You know, won three of the five games that he started. It was a close game against the, well, it was a close game against the Colts and the Vikings. Um, also he had, a. also he played against the Dolphins. I don't know why they don't, oh, here we go. Yeah, so, those are just, uh, some of his games, but also, like, you know, played against the Chiefs at home. They lost that game. They lost against the Dolphins. He threw three picks. Uh, they did beat the Jets 16 to 12. I know, I was going to say, I'm like, wait, I thought he played in more games, but yeah, it's because they weren't showing all of them. I'm looking at ESPN. They beat the Giants 30 to 6. Um, he was put in against the Bears because Brian Hoyer started that game. Uh, he went 10 to 13, 75 yards, one touchdown, one interception. And then he also did start against the Chargers, you know, the first day of October. He went 24 to 39, 238 yards, no touchdowns and a pick, and he got sacked seven times, and six of those came off of Khalil Mack because Khalil Mack had a – I remember Khalil Mack had a massive game there. Yeah, he had six sacks in that. Um – but yeah, so he won. So he actually did win, you know, five games as the as the starter for the uh, for the Raiders. So and that because they made the switch because Jimmy Garoppolo just did not play well, um, you know, and they did have Brian Hoyer, but yeah, Aiden O'Connell he got the he started most of the games because yeah, the quarterback position was not uh, was a was a kind of a carousel last year. And then let's look at Gardner Minshew's stats. So. Yeah, the, the Colts went 9-8 and eight last season. And Minshew, you know, he came in when Anthony Richardson went down. And Minshew played well. 
you know, he finished, yeah, he had 3,300 yards passing, uh, 15 touchdowns to nine interceptions. Um, played in the Pro Bowl. Uh, but, yeah, so let's look at his. So his best game from last season probably came against the Colts or against the Titans in overtime. Uh, he went 26 of 42, 312 yards passing, two touchdowns, no interceptions in that game. Um, you know, again, the Colts finished 9-8, and eight, and, you know, they were very close to making the playoffs. But, you know, he had that crucial drop on fourth down, and the Texans got the ball back, and that was the end of the game, basically. But, you know, I, I, Minshew, he played well. And I feel like he's going to get the starting job in my opinion. Um, but that's just me. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, that he's the better option of the two. And But, I, I mean, I feel like whoever gets... I feel like whoever gets the starting job... I mean, they do have a decent amount of playmakers around them. You got Devontae Adams, you got Jacoby Myers, um, you know, Trey Tucker, they're, you know, now going into his second year. You know, he was making plays for him. You obviously got Brock Bowers now in the mix. So, and, you know, the running back position, we'll see how that plays out. But I think Zamir White's probably going to get the starting job. You know, right now, yeah, you got him, and they brought in Alexander Madison, who was not coming off of a good year. But, you know, I th like I said, and they actually, yeah, they also brought in Michael Gallup as well. So, you got playmakers. I think this offense could be decent. It's, I think it just really all comes down to the quarterback play. And the defense should be improved. You know, that they brought in Christian Wilkins from the Dolphins to go with Max Crosby. So, you know, I, I don't think the Raiders are going to be a playoff team. But I feel like with Minshew, they could be decent. Kind of hang around till late in the season. You know, um, but I, I mean, I don't think the long-term answer is on the roster here. I, I think the Raiders, they're going to have to try to figure it out elsewhere. Now, I know that Marcus Spears said this on ESPN that, you know, there's a quarterback that could be on the market uh, that could hit free agency and is looking for a new deal. Now, you're going to have to pay a lot to get him, but Dak Prescott, I think, if, I, I think the Raiders, they could be a team that, you know, could be in the mix to get him. Now, it all depends on how, I guess. I mean, Gardner Minshew, you kind of know what he is. He's a backup quarterback. We don't, we haven't really seen, I mean, well, I mean, we kind of saw what Aiden O'Connell could do. I, I don't really think he's a long-term answer. But maybe Aiden O'Connell comes out and he has a really good 2024. And then maybe the Raiders say, hey, this is our franchise guy. But I, I don't think so. I think the Raiders could be a team, I agree, that maybe watch out for them when it comes to, you know, Dak Prescott. If he doesn't go back to Dallas, I could see that. And I think that'd be a good situation for Dak because you have a lot of playmakers on that side of the ball. And I think that's uh, that that could be a spot you can go in and put up uh, put up good numbers with Devontae Adams, who's, you know, still got some good years left in him. Now he's, you know, he's in his 30s, but I mean, he's still Devontae Adams. You know, um, I, I'm expecting him to have a good season here. Um you know, I, I I think that'd be a good spot for Dak. Now, I don't know how far the Raiders... I mean, I don't think the Raiders would get that far with Dak either. I think the best you get is, you know, the second round because that's really all he's been able to do his whole career. But with Dak, I, I, if the Raiders are looking for a quarterback, I they should definitely try to make a push to maybe get Dak Prescott. And Eric, who's still in the chat, said he, he would be great there. Yeah, I, I mean, again, with that supporting cast and, you know, I, I think with Antonio Pierce, who's a defensive-minded guy, well, you know, from playing defense, uh, just looking at it from that angle, you know, part of some good defenses with the Giants, um, I think that would be a good spot for him. Now, you'd be in the same division as Patrick Mahomes, and you figure now with, um, with Harbaugh as the coach of the Chargers, they're going to be a better team. And I, I mean, I don't really know what to expect out of the Broncos right now with Sean Payton, but yeah, I mean that would be a, that, that would be a tough division to get put in as opposed to the NFC East, which you know has kind of been a cakewalk his whole career, you know, outside of the Eagles who've been you know their number one competition. But yeah, I, I mean it'd be a tough division, but I think it'd be a good spot for him. So we'll see if that ends up happening. 
but that, that was just I, I know that was one thing that I saw um, not too long ago um, something again that Marcus Spears said from ESPN that yeah, maybe the Raiders could uh, maybe uh, inquire on Dak so we'll see but yeah that is uh, that is pretty much it for the show for today uh, thank you guys for tuning in uh, Eric uh, thank you for tuning into the show I'll see you in a little bit and for the production meeting uh, also uh, he's called Easy E now when I think of Easy E I think of Eli Manning so uh, that's a that's a compliment in its own right um, but uh, yeah so like I said make sure to tune into Eric's show I know it's uh, you know depending on where you are it's 11 30 p.m. Eastern time but on the West Coast, it's 8, 8.30 p.m. West Coast time. So, you know, wh wherever you are, just, uh, you know, kind of figure out what, what how that applies to you. But, yeah, make sure to tune into his show. Make sure to tune into all the other shows as well on the network. Uh, I got more shows that, that, are, uh, that are starting up. I pretty much cover every sport, almost. Um... So, yeah, make sure to tune into everybody else's shows. I know the NBA playoffs is still going on, uh, baseball in full swing, you know, so uh, the hockey playoffs as well, uh, the golf podcast. We got, we got, we, we got it all pretty much. Um, you know, women's sports. I know uh, Caitlin Clark's uh, WNBA debut is coming up, so I think it's actually tonight. So, you know, make sure to check out the uh, women's sports podcast, the Hoops and Heels podcast is what it's really called. Um but, uh, yeah, so make sure to uh, check out everybody's shows. Eric just said, bro, best compliment I have ever received. I appreciate that. I don't, I don't, th I mean, I think you've probably gotten better compliments than that. There's no way that I, that I was the best compliment. I, I've given you the best compliment ever. There's, I don't think so. But I appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, so make sure to check out all the other shows. Uh, Eric, again, appreciate you tuning in as well as everybody else that's tuned in today. So with that, that is all the time that we have for today. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And until then, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.